the build quality isn't as great, the screen isn't as bright or great either, it's a little bit small for my liking, performance isn't great, the keyboard kind of sucks, and also the trackpad kind of sucks as well, the speakers, holy, they are terrible. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I'm a fourth year electrical engineering student at the University of British Columbia. Currently, I'm living in Ontario, working a 12-month co-op at Ontario Power Generation as a project design engineering intern. And in this video, I'm gonna go through what I carry with me every single day as an engineering intern and also a commuter as well. Starting off with a backpack, this is the Herschel Little America and for those of you who have been with me for a while now, you'll know that I've had this backpack for a very, very long time now, but it's a great backpack. It looks good, carries everything I needed to, it's comfortable to wear, and yeah, I just love using it every single day. But enough about the backpack, let's get into what's inside, because what's inside is a little bit different from what I carry with me to school. As you'll see, some of the tech stuff is, uh, a little bit different from what I usually carry with me. But one thing that hasn't changed is my pencil case. So in my pencil case, um, because I'm living on my own, I don't have the luxury of that much storage. So I keep basically most of my pens and stationery in my pencil case, just to keep everything organized for when I have to write something down or sign a form when I'm at work or just for my bullet journaling, which we will get into in just a bit. So just keep it everything in this pencil case, keeps it nice and organized, and yeah, I just carry it with me in my backpack. The next thing I got in here is something a little bit new, which is a little bit bulky. This is my Keychron K2 mechanical keyboard. Just a little bit of backstory to this. Uh, when I first started working my internship, I was assigned a cubicle, and in that cubicle, there was a monitor and a keyboard and a wired mouse. But when I started typing on that keyboard, I realized how crusty it was. Like I've used bad keyboards before and I was able to live with it, but going to work every single day and typing up emails, doing a bunch of productivity tasks on a keyboard that doesn't feel good, it's not a great time, let's just say that. I got so fed up with it that when my parents came to visit me, I asked them to bring me my keyboard that I had at home that I didn't bring with me when I originally moved here. Thank goodness I was able to get them to bring it because I've been using it for the last few weeks or so and honestly, I can't go back. It just feels so much nicer to type on, like you can just listen to it real quick. You can probably tell just by the sound of it, it feels a lot better, and I certainly think so. So yeah, it's a little bit clunky to carry with me in my backpack, but it's worth it. It's so worth it because that keyboard is so crusty. All right, next thing we got in here is my bullet journal, which is my life in a book pretty much. So I use it to plan my tasks, track finances, track my habits, track my mood, and also just manage my life and also my work as well. Like I also write the tasks that I need to get done at work in this bullet journal as well. I remember that when I actually first moved here, I actually forgot to bring my bullet journal. So for the first like three weeks that I was living alone, I didn't have my bullet journal and my life almost fell apart. But thank God my parents were able to ship it to me a few weeks later and oh my goodness. I can actually now confidently say that I cannot live without this. Next thing we got in here is a fan favorite of this series, which is my Herschel Tech Organizer. So in this, I keep all the same stuff that I would normally keep in my tech organizer, but I also have an extra mouse in here, which is my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. I like to use this for work because it's fairly ergonomic for my hand, especially when I'm working for seven hours a day. And then also it has horizontal scroll wheel, forward and back buttons, and also this landing pad button for my thumb. This allows me to hit the task view. I think that's what it's called in Windows, uh, which allows me to switch between different desktops, which I do a lot on a daily basis when I'm at work. I'm not allowed to download the Logitech software that I use to like customize different things. So this is the closest thing that I can get to that function. So 
That's why I like to use the Amex Master. But otherwise, I just have a bunch of cables, dongles, chargers, my trusty power bank that I've used to charge my laptop sometimes when I'm just away from an outlet for a while. And uh, yeah, just like to keep all of it in one relatively compact carrying case for all of my tech needs. Next thing I got in here is my umbrella, my water bottle. Make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. Next thing I got in here is my lunch bag, which I got from the dollar store. And it's just a place for me to hold my food containers. On the weekends, I like to meal prep my food and put them into containers. And then I just take those containers, I put them in my lunch bag, and then I bring them with me to work. And then I just microwave my food there. So it just makes it nice and simple and easy. And yeah. Just a nice place to keep my lunch. Next thing I got here is a green folder. Green because um, OPG's colors. So I just like to stick with that theme. And inside it, I just have a bunch of different forms that I've had to sign, like printed forms. And then also some uh, handouts or guides that I've printed out for myself just to have in paper form. Because sometimes it's nice to have things in paper and not have them on a small laptop screen. And then here's uh, definitely quite a new thing. This is my Lenovo um, portable external display, which comes in a very nice um, fabric sleeve, which came in the box, which I really enjoyed. A little bit of background to why I have this. So when I first got to my job and gone to my cubicle, I realized that I only had one external monitor in my cubicle. While I noticed everyone else's ex cubicles had dual monitors. And after a few months of only working on a single monitor, let's just say that got a little bit annoying to say the least. And also since I get to work from home two days of the week, and I also don't have a monitor at home, the small screen on my laptop started to become a little bit restrictive. So I put in a request to get a portable monitor and this has really changed my productivity. So just having an extra monitor for an extra application that I can have on screen at the same time while I'm in my cubicle is so nice. And then when I'm at home, just having like one more screen really does wonders for my productivity. So I can have like my email on one screen and then Microsoft Teams or a web browser on another just to have both of those open so I don't have to keep swiping back and forth. So external displays, really nice. And then the last thing I got in this main compartment is my work laptop, which is the Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Yoga from, I believe it was 2021 or 2022 when this came out because there are some outdated specs in here. Granted, I'm used to using and having newer laptops that are much faster, much more premium, and generally fit my needs a little bit better. So when I got this work laptop, let's just say that I had to downgrade my expectations a little bit. The build quality isn't as great. The screen isn't as bright or great either. It's a little bit small for my liking. Performance isn't great. The keyboard kind of sucks. And also the trackpad kind of sucks as well. The speakers, holy, they are terrible. But that's because I'm nitpicking from my perspective, which is expectations that are a lot higher since I'm a tech nerd. But one plus is that it's very small and portable, so I don't really feel it too much in my backpack. It's a work laptop, you kind of have to use it, so you just suck it up and use it. So I have to keep my work laptop in my backpack. So that's it for this main compartment. So we're gonna go to this front compartment, which does have a couple of new things. Most notably, my key card access for the buildings. So I actually have two key cards right here, one for all of my Pickering accesses. So the Pickering office that I work at and also the nuclear site, and then also my Darlington access for the Darlington office and the Darlington nuclear site. So just have it nicely separated in here and on a lanyard that I got at orientation. So I keep that in the front pocket. And then I also have a new item right here, which I know I might sound like a hypocrite for saying this, 
but I have the AirPods Pro 2s. Okay, here's the little backstory on it. So in the last video that I made about this, I had the AirPods 4s in my everyday carry because I said that I didn't like the feel of the silicone ear tips in my ears. And basically I thought for the longest time that I would never like having silicone ear tips in my ears. But Amazon Prime Day happened and I saw the AirPods Pro 2s on sale and well, I was like, you know what? Let's try them, why not? If I don't like it, Amazon has a good return policy so I can just return them. They came in, I tried them on and they fit really well. I was genuinely surprised with how they fit in my ears. Like they didn't feel anything like what I thought they would fit. And after I started using it for about a few days afterwards and then a week afterwards and a two weeks afterwards, that's when I realized that these are way better than those AirPods 4s. The two main things that I noticed were the noise canceling was so much better and volume controls. Holy, having volume controls on the AirPods Pros, such a game changer. I did not think that I would ever use volume controls ever on the AirPods at all. So I use my AirPods Pros for quite a lot now. I use it for when I'm commuting and which if you know my commute, it's very long. And then also for um, taking all of the calls that I have during the day, uh, when I'm in meetings or if I'm doing calls, these are the things that I reach for first. So these AirPods Pros, game changing. And then the last few things that I have in here are wallet, some mints, and then some hand sanitizer, and then my keys on an AirTag. That's pretty much it for everything that I carry with me on a daily basis as an engineering intern. Yeah, it's mostly like basic stuff that most people would carry with them to work, but I just wanted to make a video just to share what I carry with me, as I always find it interesting to see what people carry with them in their, in their backpacks. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for things that you think are useful for your work life, leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely check them out. And yeah, I'm really open to seeing what I could add to my everyday carry to make my life a little bit better. But anyways, as always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope this video brought you value or you just enjoyed seeing what was in my backpack, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.